try. See, that is uh, overkill, but training is okay. Okay, let's listen to Crystal here. She's gonna guide us. Okay, so family is ga ting. Ga ting. Ga ting. Ga ting. Ga ting. Ga ting. Yes. So ga basically means home. When you say that, it sounds. Why do you want me to speak Cantonese? Why do I want you to speak Cantonese? Yeah. Because you are one quarter Chinese. <laughs> I am not. You are, because I'm half. <laughs> Right? Daddy is half Chinese, right? So you take daddy and you split him in two. One side is Chinese and one side is Caucasian, right? Yeah, but... And then you take mommy and she's all Caucasian. So the Chinese is getting whittled away. When you grow up and if you get married and you decide to have kids of your own, huh. and if you marry a uh, Caucasian, then your children will only be one-eighth so if you take something and you cut it into eight pieces, only one of those pieces will be Chinese. See, it becomes less and less. And then it becomes, it's like this and it becomes less and less. That's and right, less. you're kind of whittling that away. It's like with that and, and I would like you to know a little bit about where your grandfather comes from. Fu Chan. My, my dad, so your, yeah, 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 yeah. Or you, you can say your aye. Your aye. So, hello, can you come <laughs> back up here, please? Still okay. Oh, still okay. Frank Lee came to Canada in 1960. His grandmaster, White Crane Kung Fu, who's devised his own style of full contact fighting. Yeah, hey! 
Today is his 70th birthday. He is my father. But I don't really know the man. I only know the legend. My father worked at the Phoenix Cafe in Edmonton, Alberta in the early 1960s. <laughs> His job was waiting and busting tables, helping in the kitchen, whatever needed to get done, from 6 p.m. until 6 a.m. One night, when they were dating, my mother came to see him. Knowing what might happen, he kept her close by. And sure enough, a fight broke out. And my father was called in to take out the trash. It was good. It was good. Yeah. It, it is sad that you don't know more about, not just who Frank is, but about, about your own culture and your, and your history, because it is your history too. It's not just Frank's history. It's yours as well, isn't it? And it's your children's. I don't know how old Graydon was. It's probably before he was a year old. I had this, this nightmare, and I'm with Graydon. I've got him there. I'm apologizing to him, because I'm not, I'm dying. I'm not going to be there for him. And I didn't have the dream again, but you know, it always, it just s sat in my gut. And I tried to figure it out, like, what the hell was that about? <laughs> and it's about Frank, my relationship with him, and that disconnect, and how these kids aren't going to know him. They're not going to know that side of themselves. Because mm -hmm. uh, I don't know him, really. The way I have to connect with him is to go into his world, is to dive into that ocean of the gym, mm -hmm. of the fight club. But I'm going to get him to train me to so I can get in the ring with Levi and get in the ring with Billy and get in the ring with some of these guys who live there. You're joking, no? Or you're not? I'm not joking. I think you're nuts. Sorry. I love you to death, but I think you're nuts. I'm going to say it's a long shot. I see the kind of husband and father you are. And it's not anything like the husband and father Frank was. Got to try. Why days will you be there at Edmonton? How many days will I be in Edmonton? Yep. Probably at least, uh, probably at least a couple weeks, maybe three weeks. Yeah, Teddy's going to go spend some time with his grandpa. Who? Who's his daddy? And what does Grandpa Frank do? He has a gym. To 
Despite being estranged for so many years, my father has agreed to train me at his gym once again. A three-hour drive north, away from my own family. Though I don't know where this might take us, today I'm putting these shorts on that I haven't trained in for 25 years. I have always either seen my father through the eyes of other people or through the eyes of that little boy inside of me. Now I need to learn to see him with my own eyes. And to do that, I know I have to enter his world. I haven't smelled this in a long time. Yeah? I haven't put this on. Yeah, so the smell ready to go. <laughs> So head first, you follow me, and uh, we can uh, walk together. Just step back a little bit. Yeah, right there. Okay? Left to right. Up. Down. So you feel the hamstring pulling. That's the way to go stretching. Up. Yeah, so I see now you're hopping. You go. Don't do that. That's not floating. Because on the future, like a pam, pam, pam. I can make the long distance short. Bang, bang. Ah, move faster. I'm going to hit you. Come on. Hey, hey. See? Lean back. Put all the weight on the back. Ready? One. Two. Three. Got it. Relax. You OK? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not easy, you know. From here. Hush. Pain. Lipping hole. Land on a side stand. Hush. Jump. Well, I guess you're not a world champion yet. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Come on. Stop. That's it. That's my man. Come on. I feel like all the work I did training when I was a kid yeah. is gone. No, it's we're like not. erased. You see, you got some there. Just like your bicycle. Mm, you never forget. Don't worry about it. Doesn't never feel forget. like it. It's just bang, roundhouse kick. Bang. At that. Two or three times. Go on your own. Hey, yeah. Oh. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. First. Okay, walk around. Or barf. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, that more like it. Don't, don't go like that. Just go, boom. Hey, go. Hey, 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 good. All right, let's five times. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, 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 yeah, hey, yeah, hey, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, <laughs> when Billy Chow moved in with us and began training with my father in 1977, I was eight years old. I watched my dad pour everything into training Billy to become a champion. Watching them, my own interest in the martial arts was renewed. But my time at the gym wasn't about me wanting to be a good fighter. It was that I wanted to spend as much time with my dad as Billy did. In the early 80s, my dad spent most of his time in Thailand and Hong Kong, training Billy and managing his fight career. As Billy kept winning, movie producers started to notice and promised a new career for Billy in Hong Kong action cinema. But only if dad and Billy stayed in Asia to promote Billy's name.
My mom, my sister and I, got used to my dad not being there. Hong Kong was far away from our world. It was tough to understand why he had to be away from us for so long. For a walk? I'm going for a walk in the park? I love you too, buddy. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hey, Gray, what's going on? You're gonna build a snowman. Hey, I heard your star of the week got extended. So you get to keep your poster up that we made? You get to keep that poster up on the wall? That's good. I love you. I'm going to see you soon, OK? OK, bye. I'm a little sore in places that I didn't know I had. Muscle groups I can't pronounce. All right, All right. love you. Bye. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hmm. All right, he does it. Aim your straight, the eye straight more. Then bang one, yeah. bang, bang, bang. Yeah, just like that. Jack, one, two. Pang, what are you gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just pull your trick because I'm a master. When we are born, we walk, run, jump. We don't know this thing. But when we start the training, the food works out, that means we be born on this thing. So that means everything to me is natural. Relax, it's still tense. I got the scoop. You're still tense, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Hey! go take over. Work on you. No. Corey. Are you happy I'm leaving the rain now? Yes, Dad. I'm happy. <laughs> we'll do like uh, five rounds and then should be okay. Hey. Hey, 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 that's much better. Beautiful. Good. Okay, now, come here. Left hook. Hey, hey. Good. Hey, good. Okay, so right now, I want you to cock your gun before you pull the trigger. So from here, slip, bang. That instead of right now, you come from here. Oh, I know. Right? I've, no, I, I, I see that. I see that. Um, you used to be able to do all that, right? But because <laughs> you're rusty, you know, by by not cocking your gun, you're opening it up and yeah, yeah, making yeah. a room for a right hand. How long have you been training with my dad now? Um, about I think about 11 years. She was always being about fighters and you know making them better. And I'm sure, like, his personal life suffered from it, right? And he knows that, too, you know? You think so? Oh, for sure. It's, it's hard for him to really just look back and admit for himself and to everybody, like, OK, you know, I could have done this, I could have done that, you know? Especially for old school Chinese guy, man. For sure. For sure. Thanks. Up. Sifu doesn't, doesn't just let anybody into his world. Ah, nice one. Again? Sifu will expect me to kind of climb the cliff to reach him and then get his respect and, find, and ultimately he'll teach me kind of thing. And I understood that, you know, like I have to prove myself that I'm worthy of Sifu's technique and, and teachings. Prove yourself that so that, that he sees for himself that, okay, I, 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 I can teach this guy. Ah, that's much better. Good. Part of him. It's like, fuck it. It's a warrior part, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, man, you know? What's done is done. But the other half, the human part, is always thinking, like, you know, he's not, not soft, but if he was just a hard, hard man, none of us would be here, you know? Yeah, that's true. None of us would be here. 
Nice work, man. Thank you, sir. Yes. You said something before when Vienna asked me if I had fought, and you said that you didn't have time. Time, yeah. First of all, you're not go old enough to, to, to learn how to fight. Yeah. And then at the same time, I'm going to keep pamper a, 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 a bitty chop. And then I don't have a time to pamper you. Well, and I don't, I don't ever feel like, I, I, you know, hindsight is perfect, right? I say now I wish I would have had a fight. Yeah. Or whatever. You don't need to feel bad. Because you've been smart. But I don't know if I ever had the heart, right? You, no, no, no. The heart, I, I explained to you uh, just about an hour ago. The heart, everybody, I born chicken shit, you born chicken shit. Uh, the environment makes you, make your heart. Yes, hey, yes, hey, yes, hey, yes, yes, hey. A lot better than the first. <laughs> Uh, last month. <laughs> <laughs> Week one. Last month was so uh, rusty. <laughs> Still pretty rusty. Hey, hoo hoo! See, took my wrists away. Hey, hey! No, no, that one too short. Yeah, I just felt myself you feel that, cutting right? it off. Yeah, yeah, too short. Five more. Jack. Hey, one two. Hey, hey. Yes, hey. Yes, hey. Yes. Hey. Are you hurt? No. It's okay. Otherwise, kick him. My training is different than uh, Muay Thai. Yeah. You know, I, I burn you, but with the technique. Not just like, burn you, burn you. <laughs> Not just burn me, burn me like that. Yeah. Hi. Can you take me off? Absolutely. I had to pick up my daughter. Yeah. No. Screw, otherwise she's going to kill me. <laughs> she know how to, yeah! <laughs> the reason why I'm, I have a little gut, what I say is a gut, right? compared with normal people. Because I grew up in the street in Hong Kong. From the ghetto, you see people shoot people, you see people chop people, you involved with that kind of thing. It's normal. When I come to Canada, I want to complete, forget about, forget about what I was. I want to reborn. I want to be a nice guy. Soon I come over in Canada, about uh, six months, I had to take over my dad's job to win my mom, to bring in the income, to keep my... Eddie, Shuri, and, uh, and Kong uh, alive. Uh, when I was in Hong Kong, I would have uh, only a few fights, like gang fights, one like a few against a few, one against a few. But this style in Canada is a complete different. The opponent is whoever comes to make trouble. I'm just like a bouncer. If you make trouble in my restaurant, I come to say, we preach what's happening, you know? Try to sort of Behave or get yeah. out. But you push me around, you said, you don't want to go, and then you, what, what, what can I do? The first six months, every night, I, when I, I go to uh, 11 o'clock, 11.30, when, when the restaurant fill up people, and I start to get nervous. As soon as anything start, right away, everybody drop everything, go to it, go to the trouble point. People swing at me, I go turn them, grab them on my hip, and drag them outside. A lot of people said, wow, look at that little mouse uh, carry the elephants out. Our name all over the North Territory, Yellow Nine, even White Horse, people come in to look for the, they heard about the Chinaman was a so good fighter. Someone that come there attempting, they get beat up, of course. You know what? You don't know how, how strong I was. I am a superman. You don't know your dad is a superman. One finger poke you, you stuck. You go, well, just one finger. And you stuck right there.
My dad thinks I don't really know about him being a Superman. But when I was a child, I saw him do everything, from breaking coconuts to bending rebar with the hollow of his throat. When martial arts exploded in popularity across North America in the 70s, thanks to Bruce Lee, my father was thrust into the spotlight. And he couldn't get enough of it. I remember my father training his hands to perform the white crane technique of steel fingers and iron palm. For years, he would smash his fingers, his open hands, and his fists over and over again into this stack of cinder blocks that was always stained with blood. I mean, how else would someone be able to throw a watermelon up into the air and shatter it with his fingertips? Or bust a coconut open with the palm of his hand? You're punching me, you look at my eye. Don't look at that. The way I look at you is that I want you to kick it right. No, I don't look at you, I fight you. Come here. Pam, pam, go! Go! Bang! Where are you? <laughs> Not in the right place. Yeah, I thought them feet in yet. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, two more. Hey, yeah, hey, one more. Hey, yeah, hey. Using your front foot, we just cut off a little distance this way, come back to the middle, cut off a little distance this way, good, like that. And I pulled this muscle in my groin, All right, so I can't front push kick. No sweat. Uh, we're going to give you more accuracy than anything. Smoothness. OK. Levi Kump is a former amateur Muay Thai world champion. Looseness, sort of a He's been training with my dad for 15 years. Across the street used to be Tiffany's Bird Shop. I ended up working there the summer of my 17th year. So every day at lunch, every day I would go over and peer in the cracks in the paper and see pictures. And there was a, it was like kickboxing, but it was like kung fu. But it was, I didn't understand, but it, I knew I wanted to check it out. So you're going to fight, bend your knees a little bit more. That's it. Hey, good. Leave your foot there, just reach. Hey, that's a better one. It's Frank Lee's torture chamber. 60% dropout rate. He was proud of a 60% dropout rate. You know, within three months, most people aren't there. A little bit stepping. Right, that one, you feel that? That's timing. That's, that's it, that's it. You're welcome to come, but it's up to you. You know, but it's not easy. And it's not supposed to be easy. Crushed it, yeah. Hup, right there, Pace. perfect. My father is also a promoter. And tonight we're setting up for an amateur event. I've always understood that you have to step into the ring and do battle to prove yourself as a fighter.
switch. One of my father's fighters, Darcy, lost a five-round unanimous decision in the final fight of the night. He needed stitches to close his lip, and the doctor was concerned he might have a concussion. Just tell me where you feel the tension. There. Okay, and do you feel it in the neck, the back, the shoulder? That's not bad, actually. No, mostly in here. In the top, okay. Oh, God. It's been a little while. <laughs> Any pain as I do that? Yeah, a little and bit. And where are you feeling that right um, in the joint? Sorry, just yeah. trying again. It's um, in the set, almost shooting right here. Okay. And into, into there. No new injuries. We don't need anything else. No more. We've got our problem yeah. list here. It's it's quite full. Wow. That one's electric. Yep. So this is almost like the opposite of massage. Instead of driving in, we'll pull apart the tissue layers. Now it feels better than it was. So daddy's going away for the rest of the week, right? You get better, okay? We hug. Yeah, hug. Oh. Love you. Daddy. Love you. Love you. I'm your chief. And all your brothers. What's a chief for me? Have fun. The father bring father and parent. Your parents bring you in life, bring you in the world. I am teach you how to be facing the world. I am make you healthy. I am make you a, a mental and physical healthy. So from now on, you will be carry on my method to be forever. <laughs>
Nah, go ahead. <laughs> what do you think that's easy, man? <laughs> I don't think it's easy. And go! Like a fighting. Go! Fight! Yeah! Come now, how I grab your hand? That's how I grab your hand. And a bang! That's what I get you. Hey? That's a different kind of technique. <laughs> that's a different kind of technique. It's a magical. But you got the, you just, that's a kung fu magical. You know? Pump! You move, you don't move. Pump! <laughs> you don't move, you're gonna eat the bullet. Pump! You move this way, your head this way. Are you okay? Not too tired? Frustrated. <laughs> Why? You doing okay? Should be easier. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 you think, right? Yeah. Not like you make movie that easy. My body go with it. <laughs> so therefore, when I hit high, pam pam, I hit like that. Jab, hook, right hand. That's it. You see? Make him turn. Make him. Uh, when he don't hit back, continue combination. When he hit back, protect yourself a little bit. Stop your combination. Don't drop your hand. Good enough? Yeah. Take lots of stamina now. Are oh, you doing good? You're doing good. Yeah. You're doing good. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. I told you I weighed 171 pounds when I started. <laughs> I told you, and don't now kill yourself. 158 pounds. Don't kill yourself. Yeah, that's not killing yourself. You work too hard. You got no. nothing to prove. You had to have a, a training schedule, like level. Like. You want to be, from here, I want you to train from here. Good shape, good flexible, not here. Here, when you build, uh, build yourself as it's, it's a fighter, I want you to be underneath the fighter, that's all. Every day like this, you'll be a uh, burnout. you burn out for sure. Not only your mind, your body gonna burn out. Terry Williams has trained with my father longer than anyone else. He began White Crane Kung Fu in 1973, when he was 12 years old. His dedication to the martial arts is exceptionally rare. Despite the demands of his legal practice, he trains six days a week. He speaks fluent Mandarin, and he's traveled to China many times. Terry proves that you don't have to be a fighter in order to dedicate yourself to the martial arts. Wow, <laughs> thanks. Now you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I still think of your father as my Sifu. In uh, Mandarin, it's uh, Shifu. And Shi means teacher, and Fu means father. In Confucian uh, thinking, it's someone that you uh, you almost have to obey, and who teaches you the the techniques and and things, but who also 
guides you in a broader sense. And I think what really distinguishes your father is he's not only a great martial artist, but he's a great teacher. It's only after like quite a few years of studying Chinese culture and literature and everything that I can kind of start to understand where your dad's coming from. And so the traditional Chinese thinking is very much a part of who your dad is, but at the same time, he doesn't fit completely in that. He's independent of it and uh, all, you know, a little bit more modern too. So there, there's a bit of a tension there. Okay, well, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Corey, let's, uh, let's uh, start to working out. Okay, uh, this round, I want you to do this, this kind of, don't use the power. Yeah, you aim me, aim on me. Two feet, I mean one feet, two feet. Go ahead, snap it. That's right, again. Good. Good, now follow the low kick here. Pang, pang. Do it slow. That's why I'm gonna hit you here from between, look at how I lift you up. Soon as I lift up, I let it go and then go boom. Huh? If you're still not dead, right? Bam, you're dead for sure. Like, after you kick, shoot that way more. Not shoot straight. That way, yeah. Hey, oh, hey, bang. I see you don't follow the shake. Bang. Bang. Pong. To me, I don't let you have a chance. Pong, pong, pong already there. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. See the idea? Yeah. It's a capture and kill. Okay, good. I'm going to get Billy, give you that elbow and knee. I work on it. Hey, sorry, out of gas. Thanks, Billy. In 1985, my dad took me along as part of the team when he and Billy went to Reno, Nevada for a shot at the world title. Being with them at that fight was one of the only times that I felt like I was a part of what my father was building. World Championship Kickboxing, the world's most exciting contact sport. Welcome back to the biggest little city in the world, the biggest hotel casino in the world, the MGM Grand. I'm Bruce Presl, along with Bob Perry, WK World Championship Kickboxing. Bob, we got a good one for him. Oh, we're looking forward to it. We talked to the fighters, the crowd, the the talent here tonight is incredible. Right? And the ring girls, the ring right. girls are ready. Oh, yeah, ring girls, we'll everybody's ready. Go, just when was the last time you watched it? Nate? When was the last time you long, saw your fight? A long time ago. Yeah. Now, Billy Chow is probably known uh, worldwide, especially in Hong Kong. He's the Hong Kong champ, the Canadian champ, the world champ. He's a movie star in Hong Kong, 16-4 and four record, 10 knockouts. But he's got a tough one tonight. He's got a real tough fight. Uh, like you say about Billy, he's uh, often talked about being one of the best all-around fighters in the world, a master of the ring. Chow with a good kick to start with. Bennett's trying to get inside again. You'll see Bennett come at him quickly, but uh, this is surprising me. Chow is uh, actually does not look as cold as we anticipated him coming in. Bennett with a good right that time that snuck in on Chow. He has not been that effective with his kicks. Chow's kick. Oh, he's doing a great right that time. Was he a hard puncher? Do you remember that, Billy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 hard puncher. Incidentally, uh, Frank Lee, the gentleman working on him, uh, one of the greatest trainers, I think, in the world today. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Now's <a> better. <laughs> it's still before it's still a little bit rookie. That may be a bad move at this point. Oh, 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 oh. Combination jab, front push kick, mouse kick. Oh, yeah. Say by the bell. 
We see him over in his corner. He looks like he's okay. He's sitting down. Oh, again. Oh, again. Caught him with the right hand, though, there. Yeah, okay. Von Milton, yeah. The dragon. There's a little bit cracked in my, my, my bone. All bones like that. I'll be OK. OK, time to turn around. I will just uh, relax a little bit. OK. OK, ready? Ten. One, two, three, four. I haven't been here since. Uh... Ah, yeah. Last year, I'm not here. That's it. Uh, uh. <laughs> so that's good. See, my my dad is uh, 1911 and then 1984. Yeah, I couldn't remember the year that. That grandpa passed away. Yeah, they... I remembered I was pretty young, you know. You were young, yeah. Seventy, some, one or two. Mama's a hard work lady. My dad, I don't, I don't. Sorry about that. I don't really care. They don't. He don't really care about me because I wrote hundreds of letters. He never opened it. Come on, back and back. When I come here, all the letters for him, never open. That's why I remember when you telling me that before. I talked to your mom. I said, look, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. I make sure I have a roof over your uh, your car, your head, and my kids' hair. I have a platinum body. Make sure my kids have a eat before I do anything else. OK. Don't worry about it. It's a history now. It's important to remember where you come from, though, right? Like, huh? It's important to remember where you come from. Oh, yeah. That's OK. Where they come from is where they come from. What do you remember? What's like your earliest memory of, of growing up in China? Oh. Like, I remember you telling me you guys had land. You were landowners. And I remember you talking about like going swimming and stuff with your brother. Or were you swimming or fishing or what the heck you guys were doing? After that, the Japanese are surrendered. And let me have a few few years, a good good year. Nineteen forty-nine, they're coming to take over. And then the poor people gonna be uh, turned over, right? So we sort of like a, a rich people with power too, right? So my dad have to run. Yeah. Otherwise, they, they paint whole chunk of people that's on the hill that they shoot them. 1949, he ran back to Karen. And we stayed in the village. That's what my mom said and stuff. I have to take over. 1949, late, my mom keep hammering because there's no way we are staying in, in a communist China. Because sooner or later, they will get us. Right? So finally, they allow us, the whole family, get out to Hong Kong to wait for come to Canada. And then we go to Hong Kong, and then we look for the, the little place, the, the, you know. Me, 
Nine years, no, no bed. In Hong Kong, it's uh, not too cold, so uh, no bed. I got the, the, the canvas bed. It's that uh, you fold them together and you open up. But my mom said, because you're so weak, you better go do, do some exercise and get yourself to grow up and strong. So, and then that's why she took me to uh, travel around. And I first want to see the Hong Kong. Wow, you know what? Wow, no way, man. And then she took me to Tai Chi, you know. I said, Mom, like a woman is so soft. No, I don't want it. And then soon she took me to uh, the, 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 the one time that like, I see that guy, boom, and kick, bang, bang, kick, you know. Like, hey, I said, that's cool, I like that. But after six months, and then my mom can't afford it anymore. I want it, so I had to talk. I said, uh, Shifu, we, we can't afford to pay. My mom can't afford to pay you no more. And my mom said, if uh, I can sweep the floor, do things, whatever you want me to do, when I come before I train, I will fill out for you, girl. And then my shoe said, oh, OK, go ahead. No. So, in China or Hong Kong, the, the practice of Kung Fu is just like uh, Canada hockey. <laughs> you know, hockey, hockey, hockey. Kung Fu, Kung Fu, Kung Fu. You know, my dad uh, no, 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 the, you know, keep drinking with my... He's a buddy, he's an immigrant head of the, in the Edmonton, right? And you know, my dad was married here. I have a, three kids. And then he just said, Hey, you know, your, your Chinese, uh, your China's uh, family better bring him here. He said, well, you bring him here, I'm gonna double marriage, right? No good, right? But yeah, don't worry about it, I'll fix it for you, right? You know, so they, that's why we can come over here. Otherwise, we cannot come. Because he's a buddy with the, with the uh, immigrant uh, guy. They're drinking every night, every day. Did, okay, he, yeah, did he marry that? I can't remember her name. Rosie. Rose. Did he marry Rose, though? Yeah. He did marry her. But they have three kids. I want to go to Hong Kong. Why? What for? I feel like it would be a different experience if just you and I went over there and went to the went to the old neighborhood and I we got on the took a cab and went to the place where you started to train and almost a fifty years, but they've been turned from the ghetto to the new place now, the high rise and Still the place where, well, you, put it this way, where right? your martial arts began. Put it this way. You want to take your family? I take, I take uh, Fan and uh, Catherine. We go together for holiday time of thing, you know? Yeah. Do I want to take my kids over there? Yeah, sure. But, okay, but you know what I mean? It's a, different, it's a different, it's a different, that's a different trip. You, you and I are both getting older, and this we may not have another chance to do this. You know, we talk about Chinese culture all the time, and we joke about it, and Chinese superstition, and all this stuff. But I, I don't know that side of me. Maybe I can get a little, by spending time with you over there, over there, just the two of us, and exploring that history a little bit. You know what I mean? Maybe I can come closer to knowing that side of me. It's about immersing you and me there. If it was just you and me and for a week and go there, walk around, I pointed at that, 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 that. And no sense. But if you want to take the crew to capture whatever, uh, talk about things and then like that, so you can use it on the film, it's okay with me. You want to take me there, I go there. I got some time. First day after arriving in Hong Kong, my father and I take a walk through the neighborhood he grew up in. Everything has changed dramatically in 50 years, but his memories of the one-room flat that he shared with his mother, brother, and three sisters, as well as his days running with the street gangs, remain exceptionally strong. 
over here is uh, the shoe shoe repair uh, guy. But he's a he's a junkie anyway. He's a you know, Halloween addict. So was this neighborhood back then, like in the fifties, was it pretty like a ghetto? Is that what it was? Yeah. Like I, I know that's what you that's always what I mean. talk about. It. You see the the ghetto, right? Yeah. And then I look at this. Hey, there's a fire hydrant still here after sixty years. But they came in pain so many times. I, 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 we all, I used to always uh, and sit here and then go and then watching, watching. They see a girl go by and we just go, <laughs> you know, a tease girl, right? So this was like the and, throne? Is that what? And king then, of the then, neighborhood? And then you always see people uh, chopping each other, chasing people, chop, scream, and uh, see this people. This makes me think of what you uh, said about rub, rub your stuff like that. And stuff like that. The environment makes you tough, right? We you get gotta, used to it. Put it that way. We get used to it, right? Yeah. My lucky thing is, um, my dad finally woke up and took us to go to Canada. You know, I keep saying, without in Canada, I won't be today. Doesn't matter how how, how hard I work. Sure, I, I might be the head of the gang. You know, maybe uh, stay in the jail, maybe live in a uh, half mountain, rich guy. But I had to. Maybe I get chopped up. You never know, right? Yeah. That's how I grew up. You know. See, that's it, uh, never change. I'll take a shot of you here. Yeah, 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 again, I mean, huh? Yeah, yeah sit, yeah. I'll take a picture of you. My throne chair, my throne chair. Yeah, my throne, make me uh, like today. Warrior, <laughs> my throne. Yeah. I, I passed the throne to you, <laughs> but you're not tough enough. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to tell me something I know so well. <laughs> Somebody's the eye. I'm a, a bad guy. I'm a, I'm a devil. I'm a drug dealer. I'm a kingpin. I'm all, all kind of shit. But I'm not. Ask your mom. I beat people up. Never beat the wrong guy. When I grow up, I don't even have a, a teenager life. Well, because you always had responsibilities, right? Yeah. I mean, I knew that. I knew that. So. After your dad, after grandpa yeah. left you guys, yeah. and you were stuck in Hong Kong, and. I mean, even when you did come over, right? You like you just described. I knew that. I knew that you never. You always had, were weighed down by that. When I'm in the spotlight all the time, I'm almost like a Hollywood star, right? When you on that, you got a nice body, you got a charisma, you you bound to have a lot of females uh, come to you. Sure, I love you, mama. No, no doubt about it. All right. But you know, that means the sideline is that you cannot fight them off. Sometimes the, the force is so, so strong. That and you know, I'm not asking you then, to talk about no, no, that. I have to tell you that, about but... it, right? And then I, that's why I owe you, mom, because I'm fooling around. I think the biggest mistress. It was not another woman. I think it was the gym. I think it was the martial arts. I think I, it was I'm, all that you were trying to build. I understand. You know what I mean? I understand. A man, you had to build an empire. I make sure you guys have a bread and butter and a, at the table and then roof over the head. Yep. I never regret that because my dad never gave it to me. Yep. I got business like at the gym, right? And I got a house paid for, I got five cars, I got a wife, I got a daughter, I got a kid, I got a son. That's a typical uh, American, North American uh, family. Is that something you ever consciously wanted, though? Are you kidding? I never, I told you, mom, you mom come to me, I'm just a cook or whatever, wait at the table. I cannot make you a good life. You know, when she first saw me fight, she was scared to death. Sure. You know, that's my potential there. <laughs> But you said she was the one who pushed you to, you know what I mean, to, to teach. And she the one to take me out of the Chinese circle, you know, and that's why. And you think without that, you would have never no, gone to where you are? without her. If I, if I married a Chinese girl, I'll be a restaurant owner. That's about it. Not me. We build up to, to a, 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 Two of you together. A, a, that's my crystal ball. My family is my crystal ball. From nothing to build up so nice. Then when she broke the news to me and shattered, when the divorce, that crystal ball boom dropped, shattered. See?
After five months, I'm finally starting to feel like there is an emotional connection between my father and me. We've built a bridge to walk across and find each other. It's a good feeling. my favorite out of what you've shown me. That's all that I think the best uh, yeah. in my choice too. Yeah. They give me a 15% off. You know what I wish I still had? My old Frank Lee's jacket. Remember the original ones? The bomber style oh, ones? The bomber style. They're worth a lot of money, man. <laughs> awesome. OK. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Dad. OK. No, no, you don't take me. You pay for it. I didn't You help me. You help me pick it up? I don't have nothing. A chief will help you. <laughs> Let's see if we My grandmother tried to get my dad away from the gangs and violence in the streets of Hong Kong by putting him into boarding school in 1956. Six months later, he was delivered by the principal to my grandmother's workplace. The principal told her the underground had invaded his school. And Frank was told never to return. That's about it. Hasn't been since 56 oh, that you came here. Been uh, over half a century already. 54 years. 54 years. Shouldn't they come in the gate? I remember. I'm glad I, I bet once. So, this is the old building. So I, but not much of memory. Yeah. But uh, the schoolyard, you remember? Yeah, this is schoolyard. I, I, I remember that, yeah. yeah. The building is here, yeah. but my, my classroom is at that one, yeah. on that side. Yeah. yeah. I remember when I turn around, I see that, I see that, the playground here. The From sun, the sun. classroom? From the classroom. Yeah. Huh? I'm sitting here. So what are you going to do about it? <laughs> this is a new one. <laughs> When I was here, they don't have this thing. If they have this thing, I'll rip it off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was I was a pretty famous in here for a few months. <laughs> Let's go this way. So after you got punted out of boarding school, was all that your was time? About, did you spend more and more time here? Uh, all here. Yeah. I, after that, all here, complete takeover, uh, the teaching and everything. I come here to sleep sometime, even so late, you know, because uh, I don't have a bed in my, my room up there. I, I have a nice, comfortable here. Just sleep even here. sleep on the floor, right? Yeah. You got how many times would you come? Well, I can come every night. You know how kids are, right? I want to learn, you know, because I'm from the street. I want to learn how to fight. My trip with my father has coincided with Billy's return to his own gym in Hong Kong. It's a rare opportunity to train with Billy in the house that he's built. Same guy, different look, handsome looking, more uh, gentle. It's good, nice to have a little chest, you see? 
Dad told me of the many letters he wrote to my grandfather all those years that they spent apart. I know how hurt he was when he discovered them all unopened. I stored the letters my dad wrote to me while he was away in Hong Kong in the early 1980s in a shoebox on a closet shelf along with other important memories from my childhood. Being back in this city where he wrote them, the place where his legend began, seemed like the perfect opportunity to tell him just how much they meant to me. Oh, I did somehow yeah. there's more food coming. Yeah. <laughs> New World oh. Hotel. The 80... 25th of February, 1983. Oh. Dear Corey, your picture in the journal looks very good. You must have done a good job of it. And having fun, too, of course. I'm very proud of you, son. And I miss you very much. Mom told me that you're doing well at school. You look after the kids' class very well on Saturday. Hmm. And then you laugh, ha. I like how you write, <laughs> ha. <laughs> Big boy, don't forget to train yourself, too. Dad loves you very much. Things are getting busy now. Thank uh, God for helping us. Good news will come. <laughs> and I'll phone home and tell, all, tell it all to you. No, I just wanted to thank you for this trip, you know? I know it's not, uh, like I said, you weren't that excited about doing it. Well, first. I told you, like, uh, on the beginning, I don't exciting things. Yeah. But as it progress, when things done, I'm so happy. Before yeah. I try to make, <clears throat> make my empire come out, I spent all 20 years to build them up, right? Mm -hmm. So that means, uh, put it that way, I take a lot out of the family life, you know? But your mom's very really good. She looked after you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And well, then she, she let me face him outside. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid her. I don't, I don't want to lose her. It's a way it goes. <laughs> you know, my Christopher Bull broke it, I cannot say. You know, uh, when I, when I divorce, I want, I want to change my name. I want to forget myself. I want to throw away everything, you know, move away, you know. But I'm not a loser. It's really hard for me, my life. But as life goes on, you know, hey, you know, man, I'm happy your mom got what she got. I cannot even get to her, you know. But the life, see, <clears throat> so I had to, I know, I had to put it away. I had to say, forget it, I'm dying, you know, I'm dead. So make myself forget about. But it couldn't happen, still dreaming all the time. Okay, Corey, you pay first. Now, this one's a, do some power. I'm gonna get a close, close up. Power.
open. All right. Step block. Really relax. Bomb like that. Now from here, bang one, bang two, push, bang, 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 bang. That kind. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. That's it called follow the wind punch. My invention. And then pum, 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 yeah, pum, pa pum. Yeah, see that? Pa pum, don't stop here. Strike it, okay? Hello, hello. Come on in. Come in, come in, come in. Come on, watch your daddy uh, do kung here, fu. Come with mom when you guys sit over here. Sit down, yeah. No, just one punch. Follow the high kick, punching for low kick. Hope, knee, overhead. Ush. Hey, hey, go! Bang! Yeah, bang! Got it. Oh, nice. Hey, Catherine, Corey is uh, pretty good, huh? You wanna fight him? <laughs> you know what? Grandpa and I used to come here all the time. Yeah, we finished training, and we come to eat. I come here too. All the time. Yeah, you come here too, yeah. Here, when you are, when you get older, you can come, to, uh, come with your dad, train with me, and um, we can come again, again, again. Oh, that's your, oh. Now, that's your dad's a favorite, Nulu. What do you want? I have some, some more in your soup. You want some more of these? Yeah. <laughs> do you like these? <laughs> you want me to get one for you? Mm. Oh, look, Grandpa. Hey, there you go. Thank you, Grandpa. Can you grab one? Grab. There you go. Say thank you. Can you say, do you remember how to say it in Cantonese? Mm. Right? Yeah, and when someone time. gives you a present, what do you say? Do you remember that one? No. Doje. Doje. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Awesome. My father has a seven-year-old daughter with his second wife. <laughs> Watching our children play together helps I'm me to imagine our new future oh. as a family. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy go teaching you. Oh. Oh. Grandma. Grandma, Grandpa, come, come in. in here. Come in there. Okay. Okay. Come in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's my third generation. Okay, here we go. Ah, <laughs> good. Three. Just wait, Greg. Just wait, you Okay, turn. great, you too. Uh, Dexter, you do this one. You do this one, palm. Good, Kate. Hey, punching. Catherine, Kate. Hey, good one. Ah, good hey, Kate. Oh, oh. Ah. Hey, now, get, Catherine, get back Kate. in there. Kate, good one. Can you see it? Hey, ouch, don't hurt your toe now. That's a good one. You can. That's it. Yeah, good one. <laughs> Try again. Oh, nice. Go again. One, two. Come on. Okay. A knee. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a good, eh? Okay. Okay. Yeah, a knee. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, you do. One, two. Okay. Since we started on this journey, my father has given me everything I've asked of him. And more. I realized after all this time that he was waiting for me to come to him. Okay, let's see again. Wow! Wow! 